Daylight 621 this morning, it seals a marriage, a sign of eternity that ties two people together. But what happens when that eternal symbol is lost? What would you do to retrieve it? Well, many people are now calling on an industry that's actually gaining popularity. Ring finders. 10 TV Shelby Croft tagged along on a search. We actually are high school sweethearts. Uh, I'm Jack. She's Diana, Jack and Diane. So we actually went to high school together, dated in high school. They're the title uh, of an iconic on song, on. and music ties them together. So hush, little baby, don't you cry. Jack and Diana Lawner found their connection through music at Grandview High School, and their journey toward love came with a little drama. They went their separate ways after graduating in 1974, married other people, then found their rhythm again in 2010. Reconnecting again was just a beautiful moment. You don't expect something late in life, um, and yet there she was, and everything just fell together in a, an amazing way. Now they're partners in performance and in life. Even their wedding rings were made with music in mind. And the rings were really special to us, especially Jack's ring, because it was um, handmade specifically for him to be able to play guitar. But a series of quirky events caused the symbol of their commitment to vanish. I was doing a favor for the wife. Here I am going up on the roof to, to fix uh, an issue up there. Jack stuck the ring in his pocket with his cell phone. When the phone rang... She calls me. I'm at the top of the ladder. And I said, honey. Later that day... And I said, hey, honey, where's your wedding ring? And he said, oh, it's right here in my pocket. But it wasn't. I was really pretty upset about it. We're thinking that when he pulled the phone out of his pocket a few times that day, that's when the ring fell out. You had the ladder right here at this edge over, right? Yes. After thoroughly here. searching, renting a metal detector, and coming up with nothing, they called in Jonathan Boffman, a quote-unquote ring finder. It gives them hope, yes, because there is a way to find it, to search for it. Jonathan is hired to find all sorts of jewelry and understands most all of it has sentimental significance. So the ring is actually your, your commitment, your covenant with your significant other. We're emotionally attached to finding it. Armed with metal detecting equipment, Jonathan sets to work. He had a whole bunch of other tools that we didn't have. He knows how to use things for depth and this and that. There's no telling how long it could take. 10, 15 minutes up to hours and hours. So I search into the, to the customer is satisfied. Jonathan is called out for all sorts of reasons, never knowing when or how often his services will be needed or where. Like holidays, it might spike up or during the winter time when people get hands, get cold. I found rings in lakes, from in snow. Roofing nail. Jonathan gets a lot of hits in the lawner's yard. None are Jack's ring. But it's not a total loss. Basically, we find out where it's not, the ring is not, so it has to be somewhere else. I think this gives you, gives people hope. Ring or no ring, the Lawners will continue making music together. But he ain't got no ring now. In Grandview, Shelby Croft, 10 TV News. Well, they're still making music together. There you go, they got that. Nice. So by the way, the Lawners still haven't found the ring, so Jack's wearing a temporary ring for right now. And they say they plan to have a new one made soon. But wouldn't you know, probably when they make the new one, actually, then they'll find the old one, right? That's, so that's how that's it always gets. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, they'll have better conditions to go out there and search for a ring today. Okay, okay. On this Valentine's Day, we are tracking some warmer conditions. But it's the whole seesaw thing. The ups and downs continue.